All right, welcome back everybody. This is Dave ABQ SCNC. Today we are going down Nostalgia Lane as we are going to be opening up a box, hobby box of 1987 Topps Baseball. Each pack was 40 cents back then. Got a bunch of packs in here to open up. Uh, highlights of this set are a Bo Jackson rookie card, so we'll be looking for that. Barry Bonds rookie card, Mark McGuire card, and Barry Larkin rookie card. Those are the top four in this set, according to Beckett. There are other cards that are good, like a Roger Clemens and Nolan Ryan and uh, Rafael Palmero has his rookie card in here, but those are the four that we will be looking for today. So let's get started. I said this is uh, nostalgic for me as this was kind of the beginning of my card collecting experience. The 87 set, 88 and 89. Um, I collected all the way through, I believe it was 93 before I stopped. But got a ton of cards in here, so we're going to start with the top left of the box. And these are all the cards from the top left of the box. I'll start with that first, and then we'll go from there. Here's the pack. You could enter to win a 1988 spring training trip. 17 cards with one stick of gum, hopefully. It hasn't messed with these cards too much. Yeah, sometimes there is the residue from it being up against the card. Sometimes the back one will have the gum residue and the other side will have like a wax residue. A little bit of gum residue there, but insert that came with it. The spring training and a special offer of 10 glossy baseball cards. Just going to go through here. we got Sunberg. There's Roger Clemens. Not the not the good good ones that we're talking about here but Roger still holds some value in his card. Swift, Motley, This was the gum one, so we've got a couple cards sticking together here. Tom Seaver, Hall of Fame pitcher. Fernando Valenzuela. Frank Tanana. Here's Barry Larkin. Barry Larkin's rookie card. Let's see, he played for Vermont. Denver and then the Reds for 41 games a year before. So we do have some penny sleeves. First pack in, we got the Barry Larkin rookie card. You can see we got our our Beckett here so we can remember which ones were the ones we were looking for, but Barry Larkin is definitely one of those cards that still holds a little bit of value here. See what else we can get. Dodgers leaders and a checklist round out the first pack. So we did have these on eBay. If you had gotten in, you would have a Barry Larkin already if you had gotten in on the top left. Next pack. Let's see who gets the gum here. Jack Howell ended up with the gum. Wally Backman, second baseman for the Mets. Candy Maldonado. 
Ray Knight. I can remember for some reason not liking him at all. Leon Durham. Greg Bruck. There's the Jack Hell that had the, the gum on the back of it. Ken Hell. Bobby Witt. His son is coming up. Tony La Russa, long time manager, not just with the A's, but with a bunch of other teams as well. Kirk Gibson, the year before he was traded to the Dodgers and hit his memorable home run. Another Frank Tanana. Keith Atherton rounds out pack number two. So it's still early. Still looking for Bo, Barry, and Mark McGuire. As we have found the Barry Larkin. Keep going. Yeah, so this set is one of the first ones that I remember along with 89. I remember those a lot. 88. Um, and then, like I said, I collected all the way through um, vigorously through 92, 93. Tony Fernandez. And then there was a long, long period where I just never really stayed with it. I always watch baseball still, but Ted Power, Greg Gross, but just never followed with the Dave Parker All-Star card with the hobby. And then uh, recently, thanks to Jab's family on YouTube, uh, we found our passion for it again, Jeff. Heron, don't remember you at all, Jeff. Sorry about that. Um, thanks to his videos, we have gotten back into the hobby and are now on our own channel here at ABQSCNC. Andres Thomas in the back of this one. And Jim Presley gets the gum on this one. Rob Deere, Doug Disson says, so I was the Dodger fan. Uh, my dad liked the Angels, but he liked the Dodgers as well. Burt Bly 11 was with the Angels for a while. Jay Tibbs, long career for Burt Bly 11. Milt Thompson, there's the Jim Presley that had the, the gum on it. Spring Fever card, Jeff Russell. Ken Phelps, Bob McClure, and the Andres Thomas Rookie Cup card. Remember we thought he, he was going to be real big. He was an okay player, but never panned out to be the, the great player everybody thought he was going to be. and ended up being uh, later on another Brave center fielder. Jim Pankovitz had the gum on this one. Thank you. Fully. Don't remember you too much, Jim. John Tudor. Be horrible if the McGuire or the Bonds or Bo had the gum on it. I'm sure it happens, but would not be good. Jose Rio had a good career there. There's the Pankovitz. Ken Lendro. Oh, there we go. Bo Jackson, future star card. Still on the top left, and we've gotten two of the cards we were looking for. Bo Jackson, future star. Take a look at the back here. Memphis and the Royals. 25 games a year before. Two sport athlete, one of the best in our, that generation at least. Always remember him catching that ball and climbing the wall with his spikes. And if you missed our football week, which is week two last month, I uh, was actually at Bo's last game for the, for the Raiders as well. 
against the Cincinnati Bengals in that playoff game. Sure was. Steve Lake. Rick Sutcliffe announcing for ESPN now. Record breakers, Roger Clemens. That one still has a little bit of value in it, but it's not like the McGuire or the the Bow or the Barry Bonds. So still looking for McGuire and Bonds. We have found two of the four we've been looking for. In case you're wondering, I have a box on the side. I'm putting them into that way they don't get all scattered or messed up here. Eddie Murray, one of my favorite players growing up, since he was with the Dodgers as well. End up following him when he went to Cleveland. Is on the back of this pack. Andre Dawson. Before he was traded to the Cubs. I remember him with the Cubs, but I do used to have his rookie card at the Expos. Rick Dempsey. Dale Murphy. I had a Dale Murphy glove growing up. Never really knew who he was as I was playing Little League until I saw one of his games against the Dodgers. Mark Guvaza. Roger McDowell. Ooh, don't know who you are, buddy. Sorry. Manager card. Earl Weaver. Jamie Moyer. Most of you remember him with the Seattle Mariners during their 95 and later stretch run of postseasons. Here's uh, Eddie Murray, like I said, on the back of this pack. Used to love watching that guy play. My dad was the Pedro Guerrero fan, and I was the Eddie Murray fan. Everybody thought Eddie's career was done, and he ended up going to the Indians and doing some postseason runs with them. So still looking for Bonds and McGuire, but we are only on the top left of this. John Candelaria. First stack of cards that we've been doing, and we already found two of the four cards we're looking for. Kevin Bass. Future stars, Dave Magadan, a decent player. Jose Cruz. Jose Guzman. Phil Necro, long time pitcher. He was a long time pitcher when I was growing up, so. Devon White. And time traveler Tom Passeria, because I do not remember you at all. And that card looks not like any other Topps card. I kid, but I had a Mandela Effect moment, if you don't know what the Mandela Effect is. There are a bunch of YouTube videos about it. Um, basically, people remembering differently Nelson Mandela. Some people remembering that he died in prison. Some people remembering him getting out as the movie states um, my Mandela moment was Huey Brooks Mike Schmidt remember liking him when I was growing up especially playing uh, MLB 07 I think but when you can play the older players his player was always smacking home runs so my Mandela moment while we were talking about it was uh Robin Leach. I remember Robin Leach um, because we were uh, I had just started um, I just stopped working for AMF in Los Angeles. AMF is a bowling center company and I was going to start my own bowling center with a backer. Once they pulled out though I got stuck without a job. And 
I remember during that period Robin Leach passing away. And then... Okay, so that was like 2014, 2015. I remember a big deal about it because everybody was like, Champagne wishes and caviar dreams. And then just last year, Roger Craig, longtime manager for the Giants, not the football player. And uh, just last year, I remember seeing on the news that he passed away, no big fanfare. So, and I specifically remember it because I made a Facebook posting about it with the champagne wishes and caviar dreams as well back in 14 or 15, whichever it was. Billy Sample with the gum on the last pack for the top left here. Mike Davis, it's start talking about the Mandela effect and my dog starts barking at something outside. It's, there's Billy. Dave Kingman. Turn back the clock. Maury Wills with the Dodgers. Jack Morris. His rookie card is still worth something. Lance Parrish All-Star card. And Gary Runicki. That does it for the top left of the box. We are still looking for Mark McGuire and Barry Bonds. But we found Barry Larkin and Bo Jackson. So we're going to go to the top right. There's our packs there. Let's see if we can find Barry and Mark. So just to give you a little preview of what we got going on for our football week. Going to be opening up 99 Bowman. Reed Nichols with the gum on the first top right pack. 99 Bowman cards. Football next week. We still... Let's see if we can get you... There we go. We still have our 2019 Panini Prism Baseball box tomorrow. RJ Reynolds. Jimmy Key. Pretty good pitcher with the Toronto Blue Jays during their World Series run. Carl Yastrzemski. Turn back the clock. Red Sox. Chet Lemon. Record breaker Ruben Sierra, youngest player to switch hit home runs in a game. Willie Randolph, remember liking him as I was growing up. Nolan Ryan, Nolan's not one of the four we're looking for, but he still has some value to his card, as it, most of his cards do, as he was a great, great player. Seven no hitters, will likely never be reproduced as pitchers just are not completing that many games anymore. Like, the only time they let them stay in that long is if they are working on a no-hitter. Or maybe, like, a one-hitter. Doc Gooden. Uh-oh, Doc Gooden with the gum. Dwight Evans, long time. El Presidente, Danny Martinez. I am skipping over your favorite player and not saying anything. I apologize. Juan Augusto. There's Doc. that had the gum on the back. Not too much of a showing on it, but it's still there. Doc was still pitching pretty good at that point. Don't know if uh, Andres Galarraga, the big cat. Dave Schmidt and a Yankees leader's card. All right, getting, to the, getting into the top right here, and still trying to find some Bonds and some McGuire. Terry Forster with the gum on this one. This one's got a little more residue than the other ones did.
Gary Carter. Used to like watching him play as well growing up. Vince Coleman with the Cardinals. Pat Tabler. Mickey Tettleton. There's the cherry with the I had the gum on it checklist. Dan Quinsbury, look at that, looks like he's gonna underarm it bowling style. Jose Canseco, second year all-star rookie cup card. Tom Hare, Steve Lake, and Mike Brown. So, getting variety, not too many doubles. So, this box wasn't messed with or searched, as we have found the Larkin and the Bo Jackson. Hoping to find a few more of those, as well as the McGuire and the Bonds. Rob Woodward is the bubblegum recipient this time. Mike Boddicker. John Crook overcame testicular cancer. Still announcing for ESPN. Bob Walk would always... Dodger fans would always make fun of him when he was in town. Mickey Hatcher. Keith Hernandez. His uh, Rogaine or whatever he's promoting now, Smile. Trying to watch people do it. Eddie Murray card again. Third Frank Tanana coming up. Barry Larkin, one more time. So, looks like uh, every time we see Frank Tanana, we're going to see Barry Larkin here. That's two Barry Larkins, one Bo Jackson. Still searching for McGuire. And Bonds. Dave Parker, All-Star card. About halfway through the top right here. So top left had Bo and Barry. Top right so far had Barry Larkin, so hopefully we'll get a bow or a Bonds or a McGuire here. Get that gum out of the way. I am not chewing that stuff. That is not my thing. Other people do it. No, thank you. Bob Shirley. Jim Rice. Bulldog Oral Hershiser. The year before he started his scoreless inning streak. Danny Glenn Has a gum on him on this one. Bobby Wood again. Tony La Russa. The Kirk Gibson again. So it looks like we're getting the same packs here. Atherton and Gross, yep. So if that holds up, we should see Bo again. Not, I mean, I'd be happy to get a few bows and a few berries, but I would like to see some other cards besides that, like the other ones we are looking for here. Bob Forsh, Joe Orslack. Got George Brett. Haven't seen him yet. George Brett card. His infamous uh, pine tar goose gossage. Showing Rich on here. Doug Drabeck. Is this before his pirate days? It is before his pirate days. Looks like it is. Second year card for Doug Drabeck. Jose Uribe. Look how skinny that guy was. Don't remember him being that skinny. Aguayo again. Phelps. McClure, Expos leaders, Tony Walker, all right, three packs to go on the top right here, if 
Favorite card growing up had to have been the Ozzy Smith rookie card. Tony Pena with a gum on this one. I used to love watching him catch. Lenny Dykstra in his Met days. Before he would go to the Phillies. Dale Strawberry before he would go to the Dodgers. Oh, it was very happy when he decided to go to the Dodgers. Him and Eric Davis, I love those guys, and they just did not pan out the way we thought they would. I think it was party city for those guys when they went to L.A. There's Tony in his catcher's gear. Jeff Russell again. Corey Snyder, all-star cup card. Jays leaders and a Dave Winfield Yankees card. Yeah, had all the rookies at one point. Ozzie Smith, Eddie Murray. That was back before I probably personally made Storage Wars the best show on television as I was living in Las Vegas and had a ton, like 18 long boxes of Batman comics which will tell you how many of those were. As when I stopped collecting baseball cards in 93, I kind of gravitated towards comics. Mets leaders. And was married. Had my own helmet gray. Look at that. Not my own helmet gray, but my own um, online comic shop. But black. And... When it didn't work out with me and the wife, she took my name off the storage unit and kind of left it there. And somebody got really lucky at an auction. So, like I said, ooh, Ryan Sandberg, Cubs card. Ryan Sandberg, great player for the Cubs. So somebody made out on my storage unit. So, as I was saying, I personally probably made Storage Wars the show it is today. Last pack for the top right. Otis Nixon on the back. John Cangelosi with the gum here. Kelly Gruber. Tewksbury. John Shelby for his Dodger days. Mariano Duncan for we shipped him off to the Reds because he just was not that awesome for us. Jack Clark, Terry Kennedy, I wonder if this is Cole's dad or anything. Gary Reedus, remember liking him growing up as well, Brian Downing, Gary Templeton with his really 80s Jerry Curl, and Otis Nixon. Alright, so that's halfway through the box. We had top left and top right done. We got <coughs> excuse me, two berries and one Bo Jackson. Still on the lookout for Bonds and McGuire. Hopefully they are in the back half of this set as we are going bottom left here. Dwight Evans, first gum card on the bottom left. Pull the Spring Fever card out of the way. Vince Coleman again. Him and Barry Larkin were a great duo there for a while. Another Tettleton. Dwight Evans with the gum on the back of his. Glenn Braggs, Kurt Stilwell, and that's a kid from a league of their own. Robbie Thompson, rookie card, no, not rookie card, but all-star cup card, rookie cup card. Lee Smith, great, great, great closer. And Barry Jones rounds it out. First pack of the bottom left.
Ozzy Smith All-Star card on the back of this one. So we're getting a few other different cards here. Gary Carter gets the gum on this one. John Crook. Oh, looks like it's a repeat of that one that we got. Frank White. Tippy Martinez. There he is, Mark McGuire. One of the four cards we're looking for. So the first half of this pack had me fooled as it looked like one of the other packs that we'd gotten. And then as soon as I saw a Tippy, I knew we were getting different cards because I had not seen Tippy yet. So there's McGuire. His real, real rookie card is a USA uniform for 85. But this card still holds good value on it as it is first in, I believe, the A's uniform. Bill Buckner always will be remembered for Game 6 of the World Series against the Mets. Everybody for, seemed to forget that they still had one more game to play and did not get it done, but all the blame fell on Buckner. As, yeah, they could have closed the series out with that play, but there was still one more game, and they had plenty of opportunities. They had the bottom half of that inning to go still. Looks like we got some miscuts here. Hopefully that's just the one card. Mike Boddicker with the, the gum on him. So the only one we're missing now is Bonds. We got two Barry Larkins, a McGuire, and a Bo Jackson. So hopefully we can round it out with the Bonds. Starting out this one the same way we did as one of the ones in the beginning. Hopefully we can... Chili Davis here. Haven't seen his card yet, so that's good news. I don't know if I told you this before, but I saw him check swing a home run. That's how powerful Chili Davis was. It was his angel days. Bill Madlock. Lance Parrish. Mike Morgan. Don't know you, buddy. Sorry. And Dan Petrie. So we're three out of four. For the cards we're looking for out of our top four. Still got a whole corner plus another half of the bottom left here. Hopefully Bonds is in here and not stuck on a piece of gum. Joe Orselak. George Brett again. There we go. Seeing some of the same ones that we did before on the first half, but the second half are being a little different here. Greg Nettles. Davy Lopes, record breaker. Long time third base coach for the and first base coach for the Dodgers, Mike Schmidt. At least that's where I remember him from, but good, good, good player during his day. Mitch Wild Dang Williams with the Rangers before his his Philly days, giving up the famous home run to Joe Carter. Remember after that play, Joe Carter winning the series with the home run, everybody was out in their yards trying to pretend to be Joe Carter hitting that game-winning home, series-winning home run for the Toronto Blue Jays. Strawberry again. Don Slot. Dave Henderson would get him and Dave Parker confused all the time when I was younger. Dave LaPointe. Harold Reynolds. Broadcaster now. And Donnie Baseball. All-Star card. Looking like, will you take the picture already? We've seen Don Slot's card and I would get him and Mattingly confused for some reason when they were both with the Yankees. So, 
I guess I was just a very confused kid growing up because I would get these players mixed up all the time. Parker, Henderson, Slot, Mattingly. Astros leaders. Lenny Dykstra, Kirby Puckett, all-star card. Did that even look like Kirby Puckett? That does not look like Kirby Puckett to me. Wallace Johnson, don't remember you. Landro, Bo Jackson, baby. There's Bo again. Same order as the last time. So, give me a sec as I sleeve Bo up. Because Bo knows sleeves. Alright. Steve Blake. And Rick Sutcliffe. Look at all that hair Rick had. Three packs left on the bottom left, so if you had gotten into these this break, you would have gotten a bow and a mark out of the bottom left. Top left got the berry and the bow. And the top right got a berry. Bob Tewksbury. Shelby. Teddy. Seen a lot of these cards for the second or third time. Mets leaders had the gum on it. Oh, seen some different ones. Record Bakers. Roger Clemens again. Alright, are we going to find the berry? We got two packs left on the bottom left. So next week we will also be um, expecting our football version of the Hotbox card. So we'll be doing a video on that. Week 3, we will be doing a... Greg Maddox is brother. Well, we won't be doing Greg Maddox's brother, Mike, but there's Mike Maddox. We will be doing some way too early basketball picks. There were some big changes today as the Clippers signed Kawhi Leonard and traded for Paul George. So I'm sure that will affect a bunch of stuff. But we'll be picking our uh, playoff teams. Eddie Murray again. Future star Dave Magadan. I wish we'd get a bunch of bonds like we were getting these guys. And Phil Negro rounds it out. So we'll be making some way too early basketball picks. We'll be picking our playoff teams and our who we think will go to the championships. Just like we did for the NFL season this year, we made some way too early NFL picks. That video is ready for everybody to watch on our low budget football show. We'll be doing a low budget basketball show as well. Randy Myers, Junior Ortiz, Vita Blue, Ron Darling, Roberto Clemente, taken from the baseball world way too soon. Great, great player though. All right, so that was it for the bottom left. We are now on the bottom right. Let's see. Nine packs left to try to get Barry Bonds. Will we do it, folks? Jack Morris is on the back of pack number one for the bottom right. Mel Hall gets the inaugural bottom right coverage with the stick of bubblegum. 
Terry Pendleton before his days of helping Atlanta win numerous pennants for the National League. Oh yeah, lots of people I don't know. So hopefully this is a fresh set where we can get Bonds here, Charlie Moore. Jack Morris rounds it out. Went to an Isotopes game today, took my youngest to his very first baseball game. He loved it, so we will probably be, normally it's just me and uh, my older daughter. But uh, since my youngest has autism, it's hard to tell how he's going to do on things. But uh, he loved it, didn't want to leave. So we will probably be going to more. with him as wasn't too sure uh, the autism society out here did uh, sensory packs they partnered with the Albuquerque isotopes and ended up being a, a, a good thing for as it kept him entertained and he had a good time at the isotopes game so all right Moving along, last section of the box here. Get you focused in here in a second. Rance Mullenix with the, the residue. Balboni. Lots of players I don't know on this one. Brett Saberhagen, I know you. Very good pitcher for the Royals. Mike Kingery. I wonder if he's Scott's dad. I don't know. Just because he's got the same last name. Nolan Ryan again. Very nice. Spike Owen. Big Cat. And Tim Stoddard. Yeah, we do fundraisers for the New Mexico Autism Society and uh, as uh, New Mexico Bowling News, they are a uh, subsidiary of Autism Speaks. And since my youngest one has autism, we decided to hold bowling fundraisers for them. And like I said, they partnered with the Albuquerque Isotopes to do sensory packets. Dave Johnson. Whitey Herzog. Ooh, two manager cards in a row. How awesome is that? Bob Boone, remember, long time catcher for the Angels, Dave Schmidt, Pat Corrales with the Indians, we've seen these cards because there's a Conseco, Bill Mooneyham, don't remember you son, sorry man. Five packs left. Looking for Barry. Bonds, that is. We got two Larkins, two Bows, one Mark McGuire. Al Nipper gets the gum on this one. Vance Law, second generation baseball player. Jeffrey Leonard. Jose Okendo. Never got why I liked Jose, but for some reason I liked watching him play. Eric Davis, another one, like Strawberry, where I was happy when he came to the Dodgers and just either injuries or whatever it was got hurt and never really panned out for us. Same as Cal Daniels. A lot of, we made a lot of bad moves post-88 World Series, I guess we thought. We made a good move with Gibson so we could recreate that magic with other players and it just never worked out that way. Jim Leland, longtime manager for the Pittsburgh Pirates, gets the gum on this one. Joe Negro. Rick Aguilera. 
There he is, Jimmy Leland. Alejandro Pena. Ended up going to the Braves also and doing good with them. Pete and Clavelia. Was okay for a few years. Rookie Cup card. Ricky Henderson. All time stolen base leaders. Which will probably never. I mean, I'm not going to say never because nobody thought he would break the record, but they're not. Nobody's really stealing bases like they used to. Got a Wade Boggs All Star card on the back. And Dennis Oil Can Boyd gets the gum on this one. So we haven't seen Dennis yet, so hopefully that means we might see a Bonds. There's Kirby Puckett again. Looks a lot different than his All-Star card. Stapleton. Tim Wallach, another one that came to the Dodgers and really wasn't the same as when he was with the Expos. Jesse Orozco. Ended up coming to us in 88 for one year. And that's when he got his championship. John McNamara and the Wade Boggs All-Star card. Two packs left to try to get Bonds. Will we do it? Horrible cuts on some of these cards. Look at that. That is just horrible. Ron Romanik gets the gum on this one. I don't know if you are interested in knowing, but I'm telling you. Jim Morrison, not the musician. Mookie Wilson, the grateful recipient of that Bill Buckner play. Pat Clements. There's the Romanik. Dotson, Mazzilli, Storm Davis. Darnell Coles and the Giants leaders. One pack left. So we've gotten three out of the four. Even a couple doubles on some of the cards. It'd be nice to get some last pack mojo going here and pull Barry Bonds. Oh, there's a pirate there. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. Got a little bit of something on there it was not the gum though but there's the fourth card we were looking for we we're gonna do my usual flip around and there he is a little off centered but that is Barry Bonds so he was with Prince Wilhelm Hawaii which had to have been awesome before he went to the Pirates so we found the four cards we were looking for Last pack mojo brings us Barry Bonds. Put him right next to Batman. Yeah, I was going to do the usual pull the spring fever card out, flip these cards around, and Bonds was sitting right on top there. So let's finish this off. Sean Dunstan, long time Cubs second baseman. Or no, he. Shortstop, because Ryan was the second baseman. Get out of here. Jim Deshaies, record breaker. Most consecutive strikeouts to start the game. Tony Gwynn, all-star card. John Henry Johnson. Sounds like a porn name. Uh, Storm Davis, Ken Hal, and Tim... Piznarski, future stars. Obviously did not pan out as did not remember him, but it was get you in here. Those are the four cards that we were looking for, and those are the four cards that we found. It took all the way to the last pack to get with Barry Bonds, but he was there. And then just to show you, there was a giveaway at the Isotopes today. They were giving away these fantastic looking steins. So 
Love me some isotope games and their giveaways. And like I said, uh, tomorrow we will be doing our hobby mega box of Panini Prism on average with one auto per box. We are at 43 subscribers, so we're looking to get to 50 so we can do a giveaway. Maybe we'll give away one of these berries or the Bo Jacksons. Maybe the Colby Allard over there, the relic, dual relic. Um, but we want to thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Give us a like. Drop some comments on what you'd like to see. And uh, like I said, next week it's going to be 99 Bowman. Hopefully our hot box football card set will be in. We'll be able to show you guys what's in that one. And this was our 1987 Topps Hobby Box opening. Four cards looking for. Got them all. Barry Bonds, Bo Jackson, Mark McGuire, Barry Larkin. Have a great night, everybody, and a safe week. See you again later.